This is my portable pie build you can learn all about in the links below. But my question was, how long will this 5,000 milliamp portable battery last while gaming? Let's find out. Here we got it charged. It's been charging all night. Got four LEDs. That seems to be as charged as it's gonna get. All right, here we go. The time is 9.26 a.m. We're gonna go ahead and plug this in. Boot it up. All right, we're booting. And uh, I'm actually gonna use a wired controller just, uh, just in case this uh, Bluetooth controller runs out of batteries or something like that. For this test, I'm just gonna get into a game and uh, let the game run you know like before you get into a game it has like the intro screen and stuff so we're good there now i'm going to disconnect the wireless controller we can actually turn it off because we're not going to be using this okay so this controller is off um, really i don't even need this controller mount at this point so we can go ahead and just pull it off and um, this is the main system here. Go ahead and get into a game. So let's go into like, let's just pick like a Super Nintendo game. Okay, I think we're gonna go Zombies, Ate My Neighbors. Great game. So we got the Hyperkin controller booting off of the Pi. Bluetooth is enabled, Wi-Fi is enabled. Okay, so I'm just gonna let it run on this screen here. And it should just kind of do its thing for a while. All right, here we go. So as you can see, it's just been rotating there. It's definitely getting a little warm. The battery doesn't get warm at all. The screen doesn't get warm at all. It's really the Raspberry Pi where the heat's coming from. But, uh, you know, it's nothing to be worried about. I'm, I feel pretty good about it. So here we go. It's now 1040. It's been a little over an hour. And uh, it was actually about five minutes ago that I noticed it. But we're down one dot here. So if it's... If it goes as it's been, that means that we're gonna get an hour per uh, dot. But we'll see, you know, just like phones, sometimes they just drop all of a sudden, or maybe we'll get more, who knows. So let's stay optimistic here. Um, but based on that, we looks like it's, we're looking at four hours time on a 5,000 milliamp battery. I left this alone for a while, another a little bit over an hour, and uh, flip this over. We're down to two, so looks like it's going right at the rate that we thought, about one dot per hour. There's four dots. Um, there might be five dots, right? Because the last dot could be an additional hour. Who knows? Um, a thousand milliamps per hour sounds pretty standard. I would think that would sound right. So uh, let's see. So my guess at this point, if it started at 9.30, four hours would be 1.30. So I'm gonna say somewhere between 1.30 and 2.30. If I was to gamble, I'm gonna think my bet my bet's gonna be two. All right, it's now 12.43. I've showered, I've cleaned myself up. 12.43, and uh, this about 10 minutes ago, it was still on two. It finally went to one. So when it has two lights on, this thing still lasts a long time. It was more than an hour on that second one. But now we're on the finish line here. One dot left. Let's see what happens. 111. And we are at one more dot still. 137. 157. Still on. All right, peeps, we be out. I think I have to go. No more lights. Totally drained. Let's go ahead and unplug this. So there you have it. Let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and exactly check the time. The results are in, and as you can see, with the 5,000 milliamp battery bank, you're looking at four hours and 40 minutes. I'm sure different battery banks operate differently, and some are better than others. But I think a rule of thumb here is about one hour per 1,000 milliamps. So 2,000, you're looking at somewhere around the two hour mark, a 5,000, the five hour mark, and a 10,000 around the 10 hour mark. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys on the next one.